so welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my April Birchbox unboxing and this month is going to be a little bit different than usual because I actually have two boxes to unbox. So if any of you guys watch LS then you might have seen her most recent video where she announced the winner to her Birchbox year subscription giveaway and I was lucky enough to be the winner so I was so excited um, when I got her message. I never win anything and Birchbox is like my favorite thing ever so it was like the perfect thing to win. So I was really really excited and I already, um, I bought myself a year subscription, um, I think it was last June, so mine is almost up, so it was really good timing, um, but we had a little bit of uh, technical difficulties because Birchbox wouldn't let her buy, gift me a subscription in the U.S. since she lives in Canada, so she ended up um, sending me the money and then I ended up gifting it to myself, kind of, so... Um, what happens when you um, get a gift subscription is I checked with customer service before I did it because I really didn't want to mess up um, the stuff I had picked out myself for my April box. But they told me that this first month I would get two boxes. I would get the normal April box from my other subscription and then basically that subscription will be paused starting now. So um, the next 12 boxes that I get will be the ones from L, and then I'll have like two or three at the end. Um, so like next April, I'll have two or three more that were left over from the one I bought last year, and that's how it works. So basically, when you give someone a subscription, they don't get a regular box the first time, they get a welcome box. So today I got my welcome box, and last week I got my other box. So I had filmed that update already. I knew I was getting two boxes, but um, I just, you know, I can't resist opening them when they're sitting in my house. It's like more than 10 minutes and I go crazy. So even though I knew what was in it. Um, so I'm going to insert that footage after this. Um, I filmed a new intro because um, I just did. So, um, so I'm going to unbox this welcome box from Birchbox and it just contains kind of Birchbox favorites. Um, so we'll see what's in here, and then I will go and put the footage from last week where I review my March box and then show you what is in my other April box. So this month is a little weird, but um, hopefully you enjoy seeing what I got in my two birch boxes, which is really exciting because I have two. Like, I love birch box and having two is really exciting. So, um, I was a little disappointed. I was hoping that I would get the really cute Rifle Paper Company box, but this is just one of their plain cardboard boxes that they used to have all the time, but that's fine. Um, when I use my boxes for organizing my drawers, you don't even see the cute part anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But this is my welcome box. So inside, there's just a little card, and it says, Welcome, hooray, you've been gifted a Birchbox subscription. What does this mean? And it says your mailbox is going to get much more interesting, and it kind of just explains what Birchbox is. But... I clearly know what Birchbox is, so I'm not going to read that off. So, here is my box. And let's see, the first thing I see in here is the Jelly Pong Pong Glow Getter Luminizer. And I actually got this in my March box, um, so I'm going to pass this on. I actually haven't sent out my giveaway package, so I think I'm just going to throw it in there for, um, for the winner of that. It's kind of a weird situation. I don't mind that it, um, I got some repeats. I know there's another repeat in here too. Alright, this is the Wish Body Butter, and this is in Blueberry. And in my other box this month, I got the Wish Shave Cream in Blueberry. So I'm excited to try their body butter. I've never tried their body butters before, but um, the I used the shave cream already and it smelled really nice. So yeah, this smells, it smells like blueberry yogurt. So um, I'm excited to give this a try. Right, this is from Temple Spa, and it is the Peace Be Still Calming Face and Body Balm. So it says it's part skincare, part aromatherapy. It is a lush cream that nourishes the skin and calms the mind. So I guess it's just a lotion, and they just made it sound really crazy fancy, but um, let's see. It smells nice. I'm not really good at picking out scents, but it's kind of, I don't know. It is kind of calming, like aromatherapy. It says, massage into your skin with long, sweeping upward strokes. I'm going to use downward strokes. 
can't tell me what to do. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try this out. I'll definitely use up some body lotion. And then I have my little pillow pack. Alright, so this is the beauty protector, or the beauty protector protect and oil. And I got this in my April box. I also got it, I think this is my fourth one. I got it in a regular birch box, but then I think I got it as a mystery sample. Um, when I made an order on birchbox.com. Then I got a curated box this month, so I knew I was getting a repeat, but I was okay with it, and now I have another one. So I, d I don't mind at all because I love the beauty protector stuff. It smells so good. Um, it's like vanilla-y. Yeah, it's just so, so good, and I'll definitely use this. So um, I definitely have enough hair oil to last me for quite a while, especially with my short hair now, but um, yeah, I am excited to have more because I love this stuff. Alright, the last thing is the Vasanti Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator. And it's an exfoliating cleanser with papaya, microcrystals, and aloe. And, and I saw online what was coming in this box, and I thought I had had this before, but I think I got it confused with something else, because the thing I had before was in a little jar. So this is actually something I've never tried before, so that's exciting, and it's just an exfoliating cleanser, so um, yeah. I will give that a try for sure, and I'm sure you'll see these things all in my empties soon because I've really been on a mission to use up all my samples. So yeah. So thank you again so much to Elle for this year-long subscription. It's such a generous thing to give away, and it's just perfect for me right now because I love Birchbox, and my um, subscription is running out in a couple months anyway. And um, I don't know if I posted my life update yet. I'm not sure when I'm going to post this video, but. Um, once you see that, basically, I'm not going to have a lot of extra money for the next year. So um, having this thing to give me joy once a month, get a little present in my mailbox, when I won't be able to go shopping very much at all, will really, really be nice. Um, because I probably wouldn't have been able to afford a, a year-long subscription again at this time. So thank you so much, Elle, and now we're going to go see what's in my other April box. But before I get started unboxing this box, I am going to review um, my March box. So the first two things in my March box were the number four clarifying shampoo and a hair mask. And I've talked about number four hair products before, and a lot of my empties, if you watch them, um, I've said, you know, shampoo, hair products rarely wow me, but I don't know what it is about number four shampoos and conditioners, but they are amazing. Every time I use them, my hair looks amazing. I feel I can go an extra day without washing it. And I can't even really describe what make what is so good about them, but I just I really notice how good they are. And they're so expensive, but I was so excited to get another shampoo in my box. I think the first time I got the volumizing shampoo and this was the clarifying shampoo. And I can't say I noticed a huge difference, although I mean I used the other one quite a bit ago, but I really really loved it. And you know, I've always said that I would never pay full price for them cuz they're so expensive, but I think I might have to splurge on them sometime because oh, they're so good. I don't even know. I don't even know what it is. I don't really know much about hair care, so if you know what it is about those products that's so good, if there's any dupes for them, please let me know. I've tried to do a little research and I haven't really found much, but um, I love them. So I think I might have to like save up some Birchbox points and wait for some sort of sale and pick those up. Because I think an 8 ounce container is like 30 something dollars and then it's a better value to get the bigger one. But that one is $75 and I am not spending $150 on shampoo and conditioner. But um, I am, I think if I do get it I might only need the shampoo. I think the shampoo is what is amazing. Because this time I just had the shampoo and the hair mask. And the hair mask was in a foil packet so I only got about two uses out of it. But um, the shampoo I, I still have it. I haven't used it up yet. And uh... I've used it with other conditioners and I still notice a big difference. Um, I'm kind of bummed I didn't get the conditioner with it so I could really try them out, but you know, maybe I just need to invest in the shampoo. Um, but it would be a total treat yourself, save up a lot of points, wait for a sale kind of purchase, but I think I might have to do it someday because I don't know, I just love that shampoo so much. The next thing I had was the Amica Blowout Bombshell Spray, and I also really enjoyed that. Um, I can't say I noticed a huge difference in my hair compared to the other kind of sprays like that that I've been using, but I really liked the smell, it made my hair smell nice, and it didn't do anything bad. So I'll definitely use up that sample, but it's not something I'm going to rush out and buy when I'm done with it. Next I had the Jurelake Herbal Recovery Serum, and I did end up using that mostly in my neck and chest area because I just don't like 
messing with my skincare routine. Um, I find when I mess with it too much, I get little, that's when I tend to get spots or um, issues. And you can see I have a little spot right here because I think when I was out of town, I just was not very good about doing my whole skincare routine. So um, that's what I get for doing that. But I did use it. I mean, it had a fragrance. It was herbal. It was nice, but I mean, I don't really like fragrances on my skin and I mean I definitely didn't notice a difference there was, it was like a fairly big tube but there was barely anything in it so I mean who knows but um it's definitely not something I'll ever be purchasing the last item was the Harvey Prince signature scent and if you saw my unboxing I'll link that down below you'll know that I did not like it because it smelled like uh, scented to pen highlight finally I have the jelly pong glow getter highlighter and I didn't use that. I haven't used that yet. Uh, I just have a lot of highlighters and I've been trying to use up my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette highlighter so I kind of put that one in my highlighter drawer and totally forgot about it. So, um, oops, but um, I mean, we'll see if I ever get around to trying that out. Alright, so now for my April box. Um, if you don't know, you, um, Birchbox this year, at least every month, I think, has had sample choice where they kind of announce a few of the items that will be in boxes ahead of time and you have the option to pick one of them out, be surprised, or sometimes they also have curated boxes. And this month I was super excited when they announced that the curated box was a partnership with Mad Men because I love Mad Men. And not only was there one curated box, but there were two. There was a New York and a California version, which I was really excited about. And as soon as I was watching the video and they announced that, I was like, that's what I'm getting. But then they announced the, um, they showed the printed box for the regular box, and it was even cuter than the Mad Men one. It was so pretty with this floral design, and all of the samples were really great. Usually there's like one I want or like none, and I'm kind of indifferent, but this time I think there were two or three that I would have really liked. There was like um, a lipstick. It looked like a little mini lipstick, but it was like a blush and lip product, and then there was a Jouer blush and lip thing too that was a really pretty pink color. And I don't know, I just, <laughs> I have, could not decide what I wanted. But I've never gotten a curated box before, so I decided to go for the Mad Men box. And this is what it looks like. Um, this is the New York Mad Men box. I think the California one was maybe, was it darker pink or more purpley? I don't remember, but um, this is the New York version. Alright, so here's the little card, and it's of course Mad Men themed. It says, Mad Men, more than any other television series in history, creates a beautiful, complex, sexy world where style endures. The costumes, incredible makeup, and hairstyles are catnip to a society that craves style and beauty. Side note, has any other show made us want a pencil skirt so badly? Oh. I did know, um, I kind of forgot what's in this box aside from one or two things, so it will be kind of a little bit of a surprise. So the first thing I see is just a little advertisement for the final episodes of Mad Men, which I'm super excited about. Alright, the first thing I am seeing is the Wish Shave Cream in Blueberry. And I have had one of these shave creams before um, in a different scent, and you know, I liked it. It's not something I'm going to buy, but I won't mind using up this little sample at all. And the full size of this is $20. Alright, next up is this Liz Earl Eye Bright Soothing Eye Lotion. It says that this cooling lotion uses ultra calming botanicals to soothe, refresh, and depuff tired eyes. And after a long day, say on Madison Avenue, sweep over closed eyes with a cotton ball. So this is a pretty big size. Um, it says it's 1.6 fluid ounces, so I imagine it'll last quite a while. And the full size of this does retail for $25. I'm not sure how big that one is, but this is quite a large sample. So, I mean, I'm not really into eye creams or things like that, but I'll definitely give this a try and see how I like it. Next up is an item I was pretty excited to try out, and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And, you know, I really like the e.l.f. clear brow gel that I've been using, but I am almost, almost out of it, so I kind of had that in mind when I saw that this was one of the products in this box. And I would like to see if there is anything that makes this one worth the extra money. The full size is $22, and my e.l.f. one is, is it $1 or $3? So, um, I'm excited to give it a shot. It's probably not something I would ever buy, but I think that's kind of the fun of Birch Box, is you get to try some expensive products that you probably would never buy for yourself. So this says, get professionally polished brows with the translucent gel, rich in botanical conditioners, and you brush it onto your brows in the direction of growth, where alone or over your favorite pencil. So I'm excited to try out this brow gel. It'll be perfect because I do have a brow pencil in my Project 10 pan right now. Right, next is the little pillow pack, which is green. There's two 
items in there's two items in this pillow pack and the first one is one that I've had before this might actually be my third sample of it but I do like it so I don't mind at all this is the beauty protector protect and oil and a full size of this is $25.95 and before, but I really really like this it smells so good and um, I pulled out the one that was in my closet because I knew this one was coming so I've been trying to make some progress on that one before I get into this one but this is I knew that I think in both the Mad Men boxes there were things I'd already gotten and you know this one I knew I wouldn't mind having again. Then the last item in my birch box is by Cargo and I've never tried anything by Cargo before. And this is the Swimmables Water Resistant Blush in Los Cabos and a full size is 26. And it says that this waterproof pigment stays put even through a three martini lunch. So I'm excited to try this. Let me see if I can get it open and swatch it for you guys. Alright, so this is the shade Los Cabos. It's kind of a corally pink shade. There's a little bit of an orange kind of-ness to it. But I think that will be really, really pretty for spring. And I'm really excited. And it's just like a cute little package. It says it's um, 3.19 grams, which is pretty big, I think. So I'm really excited to try this out. So yeah, so overall I'm really pleased with this birch box. Obviously I picked it out so I knew what was going to be in it. Um, beforehand. I'd say the least exciting thing to me at least is the Liz Oral Eye Bright Soothing Eye Lotion because you know I feel like skincare products like this are pretty much a bunch of BS but um, I will try it and see if it does anything I guess. Um, and then the shave cream is just kind of okay. It's something I'll use but it's not something super exciting. But I am really excited about these three items. So I will let you guys know what I thought of this stuff next month. And thank you so much for watching, and once again, thank you so much to Elle for um, doing this giveaway and giving me the, another year of my favorite subscription service. Thanks for watching. Bye!